Are you planning of starting a renewable energy business and want details of the schemes the government has launched for entrepreneurs? This video is for you. In this video, we will understand why this sector is so attractive among today's entrepreneurs and why you should invest in this sector. Hello, you are watching Enter Climate and let's start the video. India's target of reaching a capacity of 500 gigawatts of renewable energy power by 2030 will be driven by renewable sources. This will include capacity generation from private and public sectors in the solar, wind, hydro and other renewable sources. Today, the renewable energy sector offers a wide array of promising business opportunities. This sector is experiencing rapid expansion and providing numerous investment options and participation prospects for businesses. And the Indian government is also showering these businesses with attractive incentives and opportunities. To facilitate this growth, the government has introduced several initiatives and schemes. These include permitting FDI up to 100% under the automatic route for renewable energy related investments, waiver of interstate transmission system charges for interstate sale of solar and wind power for projects to be commissioned by 30th of June 2025, setting up of ultra mega renewable energy parks to provide land and transmission to RE developers on a plug and play basis, building transmission lines and creating substation capacities for evacuation and setting up of project development cell for facilitating investments, standard building guidelines for tariff based competitive bidding process for the procurement of power from grid connected solar, photovoltaic and wind projects and conducting skill and developmental programs for entrepreneurs for the implementation, operation and maintenance of renewable energy projects. Some of the crucial programs that the government has undertaken include the National Solar Mission of 2010, Off-Grid and Decentralized Solar Photovoltaic Application Program, the PM Kusum Scheme, Solar Park Scheme of 2014 and the National Green Hydrogen Mission. Now, this table shows the present installed capacity of India in the terms of renewable energy that is being generated in 2023. Now let's look at some of the businesses that are popular amongst the entrepreneurs. These include the solar power plants and rooftop solar power installation, rainwater harvesting installation, production of biofuels like biodiesel, bioethanol or bio CNG, biogas power generation from cow dung, biomass power generation and the power generation from municipal solid waste. Now for those of you who are thinking what are the license and approvals needed for these businesses, here is the list. So the above businesses can require any of the following mentioned licenses, company incorporation, GST registration, MSME registration, the shop and establishments license, pollution NOC. CEIG approval and loan related documents in case you need financing for your renewable energy project. Now I would like to add that this is the right time to start your sustainable and a future ready business. In addition to these schemes, the recently announced green credit scheme has given the private sector a golden opportunity. If you want to participate in this revolution, contact our experts today and take the competitive edge in this highly rewarding segment. Don't wait then, head down to our website for the detailed analysis of the mentioned sectors and choose the business area that suits you. So that was all for today's video. Thank you for watching.